Hey, I've got five books, one movie, and one course that you have got to review before you vote in 2024. First up on the list, we've got Hillbilly Elegy by J.D. Vance. Of course, he is the Republican nominee for Vice President of the United States. This book really gives you a, his background story, but also gives sheds a lot of light on his political views and his thinking. Number two on our list is Vivek Ramaswamy wrote a book called Woke Inc. a number of years ago. This catapulted him onto the, sort of the national stage in terms of politics, but it is explaining why corporations have gone woke and they figured out that all they got to do is wave a flag or two and that they will not draw the ur of the democrat party so now this is uh, escalated into a full-on alliance between the democratic party and wall street he explains why that happened number three on our list is a book called american covenant written by a guy named mr levin yuval Levin, and he's a big brain scholar. He worked in the Bush administration, so he knows politics very well. But the central thesis of his book is that the American Constitution is actually a uh, a way to draw Americans together to create, help stimulate a lot of compromise so that we can all figure out how to negotiate sort of a peaceful way of living together. But he, as he sees it, you know, the United States Constitution is called a bundle of compromises, but it really is the backbone that holds all of us together, we Americans. When Character Was King is number four on our list, written by Peggy Noonan. It outlines what the strengths of Ronald Reagan's presidency. It's a good historical read. It's also good because she has good insight and political analysis as well. But she was a speechwriter for Reagan during those years, and she is able to share a lot of personal insights, not only his political views, but about his character as well. Number five on the list is Liberty and Tyranny, written by Mark Levin. And Mark Levin has a radio program, and he's written a number of other books. One of them is called Why the Democrat Party Hates America. But I think that Liberty and Tyranny does uh, the best job of explaining sort of the backbone of the conservative movement and a lot of things that we need to be thinking about in our contemporary context and moving forward, not only in this election cycle, but two years, four years 10 years from now, what conservatives need to be thinking and driving towards. All right, now we move on, shift gears a little bit to a course, a course that is hosted by a man named Arthur Laffer, and he explains supply side economics. This course is put on by Hillsdale College. You can go to their college and they have some free courses. But this course will explain monetary and economic theory from a government perspective, kind of a macroeconomics perspective, why tax cuts are so good, why government intervention is so bad and damaging, why federal spending and deficits can be so damaging to the economy and what we can do to help stimulate our current economy because he participated both in the Reagan tax cuts and then the Trump tax cuts as well. But he makes a great academic case and very practical case for why tax cuts can help stimulate the American economy and give uh, the federal government more spending money to help more people. And then last on our list is the, the movie Reagan, which just came out, features Dennis Quaid in it. My wife and I went to go see it. We thought that it was a really fun, a little bit cheesy in some spots, but a really fun overview of his life, President Reagan's life and what made him such a quality leader. Check out these sources before you vote in 2024. I'm John Henderson, and this is the Conservative Book Society.